Hello guys and girls and welcome to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa here on Tahiti Islands. Thank you very very much for joining me. So oh just while I think of it I do have people that quite often ask me what is the map that I'm using here. The map is called Yakatorian or Yakatarian, yeah, something like that. Y A K A. If you search for that in maps, Y A K A T, um, at least. Oh, tornado incoming, and it's outside the area where we can see where that is. That is the map that we're using. It's also linked in the description below, so you can check that. Today, I want to get a load of industry built up on this side of this island and get our cargo connected over here. Uh, as we discovered last episode, we now have the mod that enables us to add in the... That'll be... Oh, airplane paths. Well, we can add those in now as well. But also, we add in the ship lanes. This one here, ship paths. Ship paths. And there we go. So, we can have that go through there and have a cargo hub up the top here, which is fantastic. Um, I just want to sort of smooth that out a bit there. Let's just... Do Whoa! What did I just do there? I seem to have just built a little rocky outcrop. Oh, man. <laughs> been tsunami. Uh, let's just undo that. There we go. So, where's the tsunami going to hit? Everywhere. Oh, is that the tsunami there? No. That's just as far out as it will. There you go. Look, you can see <laughs> as far out as it will tell us. Anything further than that. So, basically, it's saying everywhere. Where is the tsunami, though? Um, can't actually see it yet. All right, well, wait. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's only a very small one, by the look of it. Yeah, there it is. What size does it say? Incoming tsunami. Tornado with 5.5. About to hit. I don't think it's telling us about the tsunami. All right, we'll wait until that gets over here. Not overly concerned. Yeah, so let's get back to this. Let us flatten this down a bit. Uh, we've got the deep one. I'm just wondering whether to just add a bit more of that deep one onto there. Just out into the ocean, just a little bit further. Yeah. Oh, I paused it by mistake. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Right, let's ha have our cargo hub here. So we've got this roundabout. Here comes the bad weather. We're going to have that go there. We're going to have our cargo hub in here. So which one do I want? This one and this one. So we're going to get a train connection with this as well. We do have train lines around here. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, there it is. That's the tornado. A tornado has touched down in the area. Hopefully, it's not going to head across to over here. We shall see. It seems to be heading that way. So we'll come back to that. The tornado, uh, the uh, tsunami is slowly creeping over, but we're not too worried about that. Okay, let's let's put this in. Oh, it's all gone a bit dark and dismal, isn't it? Let's delete that. Let's grab that. So that is not going to shoreline required. Oh, it's got to be over this way a little bit more. Okay, let's. I was hoping we could put it straight up against there. We probably could actually if we moved up that ship line a little bit more. So let's get this ship path. Yep, we know about that. There we go. Sort of have that, say, come up to there. Then we can put our cargo hub in here. Shoreline required. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's suddenly got really dark. I don't like to keep it on the dark while we're working. So let us... Lighten that up a bit. There we go. Yeah, so we can have that go there. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to slightly change that. I, I don't want to just whack it into the ground. I want to put it on a wall along here. So let's grab a flood wall. No, let's grab a key wall. And let's add that down here. Should we do a straight key wall? If we go straight across there, like that, yep, we'll come to the side bits in a moment, and then that will fit on there. Yes, it will. Excellent. 
So let's smooth. Oh, I keep clicking that one. I don't know why. I'm looking at that thinking it's a block of grass. I've got Minecraft on the mind today. I think that's what it is. And then we'll go up with that to sort of under there. And then we'll go up with that. Yeah, that's good. Just up here for now. Yeah, that's okay. And then we'll have... Where are we? Back to this one. We'll have that on there. Yep, yeah, good. That sort of fits okay. And then we'll do... Should we do the one-way road in and out? We could have in there and out there or something like that. I can never remember which side they go in. Do we have another cargo hub around here anywhere? Um, how's the tsunami doing? It's disappeared already, isn't it? Looks like it. And the tornado's disappeared. Oh, we've got a lack of power. What's going on? Okay, I don't know what it was, but the power's sorted. Uh, cargo hub. Yes, we have one over here. Somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Or maybe we don't. I thought we did. Nope, I must be going mad. It must be my other city. Okay, well, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll put the roads in and then if we need whichever way we decide to upgrade them to one way we'll, we'll change that later so let's turn that off if that went sort of at an angle like that and that one went sort of at an angle like that so it's far enough away we'll get rid of that there we'll get rid of that there and we'll see how that goes that should be okay it's coming into that roundabout that shouldn't cause too much of a problem let me just sort out water for this area Okay, there we go. We've got water. Now, we need some power. We did have some other industries set up over here. Now, if I remember correctly, yeah, we've set this up as forestry industry. And even though we are using Demand Master, for some reason, it's not building up. But let's put this all back in. There we go. Let's speed the game up as well. So that should start building in for forestry and give us some extra money as well i think it was forestry let's have a quick look yeah we've got forestry in there which is good and i'm going to put some of this around the outside now if you remember last episode when we put in this recycling plant it's going to recycle things and produce raw materials as well so processing rate zero a week so it's only sent out two garbage trucks out of the 100. Because it's so far away from everything else, I think this area over here is probably being dealt with via this guy. So if we delete that guy there... Oh, we've also got this power. Whoa! Oh, here we go. Oh, here's the tsunami. Oh, it's actually coming from this way. Have I missed that? Oh, no, it is the side. There we go. Um... I don't think that's going to be a major, a major, major issue. I'm just going to have to go along now afterwards and fix up <laughs> all of my power things again, my underwater, my underground power things, because they will actually be underwater. Now, this is weird. We used Demand Master before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to 100% and then fix it. It's odd that this industry isn't growing over here. And we've actually seen Demand Master work in last episode when we filled all of this in. Look, this is all growing. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, oh my goodness me, there's another one. Oh, wow. Look at the... That's the one. What size is this? What size is this? It doesn't say it's just a humongous one. Well, there we go. Uh, these poor guys over here are going to struggle. Yeah, most definitely. Darn it. Yet again. Whoa! That thing is flipping huge. Uh, yeah. It's always this side of the city. Look at that train. He's like, shall we go for it? Shall we go for it? Go on, maybe, maybe. That is like the that, that guy there. Look. He's like the Jacques Cousteau of train drivers, isn't he? He's thinking, I'm going to go for it. Will he make it, though? That's the question. He keep, he keep, oh, 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 whoa, he was even closer then. Yeah, need a screenshot of that. I think he's going to keep on trying until he can get through. Well, well done to you for not giving up. Oh, good grief. It's always flipping tsunamis as well, isn't it? 
is always... Look at this guy up here. He's like, nope. I tried it, but I've changed my mind. It ain't going to happen. Oh, flipping heck. Well, should we just leave these guys to it for a few moments? And we'll come back to that. And we'll see if we can get this to start growing over here. Which is slightly odd that it doesn't. I am going to put a park and some services. Because you wouldn't believe it. Lots of people don't. But they still need things like this. There we go. So make it an area where they want to where they want to come in and grow. Uh, let's just put this one on. Yeah, we've got no services over here at all. Oh, there we go. Look, suddenly they're moving in. Yeah, excellent. There we go. That was what it was. Let's put that in, and we'll put a police in there. Cool. There we go. And we're going to get some uh, forestry industry moving in. Excellent. Okay, you carry on growing. Let's check. Is Colossal Order going to survive this tsunami? I'm not entirely sure whether they will. Yep. I guess we'll see. I really want a screenshot of that. That's looking cool there. Right, let's see what happens. Come on, Colossal Order. You can do it. Oh, my giddy on. Colossal Order survived. Well done with your waterproof building. That is what we want to see. Very good. <laughs> so, oh no, this is going to like completely wipe out this area up here. Which isn't very good. Oh, darn it. Oh, well, anyway, let's, let's make sure we get some power down to this guy. And we'll try and sort of, yeah, deal with the fact. If we put that in the middle, um, which way are these going? Right, let's watch this guy. He's going, I think he goes in... And where's he come out? That's what... Oh, he just disappeared because it's not working. Done! Okay, let's get this hooked up. Can I have some power? Thank you very much. We'll go one there. There we go. It was auto save. Quick sip of tea. Uh, let's do that. And then we can add some more industry down here. And that will actually spread the power down to that area there. So you grow when you're ready. There we go. Excellent. Get the power over here and we'll start seeing this go. Excellent. So what other items do we have that we can sort of drop into here that will really start making it look like it's a nice built-up industrial area? Well, we certainly need more people and we could do, before we do that, with some transport to get these people here. Yeah, we all know about the tsunami. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I'm going to turn the volume down in my ear because, yeah, she's going to be saying that a thousand times. So we need some way of getting transport for these guys to get over here. We do have these road connections, but we know they do favour other transport options over driving. I'm just thinking whether... We haven't done a monorail for a while. Whether we could add a nice monorail coming down here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I want to stick a monorail down the middle. I don't think that'll work very well. We could have a monorail coming up here along there. Over there. Over the top. And then finishing over here somewhere. Do we want to bring it all the way up into there? Yeah, finishing down here somewhere I think will work quite well. So maybe let's change this road to this one. There we go. So we get the monorail in there. Yeah, that'll work well. Removes the trees, which is fine, but let's see. Where are we going to go? We're going to curve it up and over that water. So let's take this one. We're going to go up there. And then we're going to go over the top of that, aren't we? Let's just turn off that. There we go. Is that going to nicely stick a bridge in? Yeah, that's fine. And then if we go up here, let's put that on again. And we'll go straight with a 
Whoa! I'll press Y instead of T. Wrong button. What the heck? Another... Another tsunami. Oh, come on, seriously. They barely... They haven't even got over this one yet. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're down to 62,000. This is what happens when you've got disasters on all the time. Good gravy. Right, let's go up and over the top here. There we go. And if we could add that into there, that would actually work quite well, wouldn't it? So if we can curve that around... Let's see what we can do. If we go like that to that, and then like that to that. No, that ain't going to work. Well, that looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Okay, let's let's take that out. Let's try that again. I need to give it a little bit of space. There we go. Excellent. Is that okay? It looks like it's a bit steep there but i think that's okay and then we'll have that come in there and then we'll probably change these ones as well to there and we'll have that connect across here yep that's fine and then can we have a, a monorail stop here by the shore so what have we got what have we got monorail station with roads i think if we add that onto there that should hook in. We've got to put an angle on it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So some of these people are going to complain about the noise a little bit, but we can fix that with some offices. And I like having offices sort of next to these as well. And we're going to change you to offices and add offices in there. So that's sort of buffer the sound a little bit. Excellent. So that's going to come down there up to here. You know, underneath the... Um, Oh, and tornadoes underneath the tsunami. I'll tell you what's happened. Something somewhere has been tweaked. And the amount of disasters we get now in this city are off the charts. It's like we're constantly building and working amongst disasters. <laughs> Flipping it. We have no disaster protection up here. We need to put this here. We need that to carry on all the way along this, don't we? Because that is going to cause problems in our new area. Good grief. Okay, so we need to put a monorail stop down here in the water. I'll tell you what, while that's going on, I can't even come over here and rebuild this because of this tsunami. Flipping heck. Okay, it's rolling by up into Strawberry Hills and Bottle Cap Lake. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm thinking of just putting in um, this one with the road. Like here. Oh, yeah, it doesn't let it let you do it straight away, does it? Let's take that one and that one. Add a little road in. And then we can add it onto the side of that. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So that'll work there. Um, this one down here. I'm going to change that road back again. Let us grab this one. Yeah, there we go. We'll change that back like that. And then we can just add this road onto the back here. Yep, yeah, excellent. Uh, that is this one. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's good. So now we can have a monorail route going from there all the way up here, all the way over here to the beach. Add stop. Oh, okay. So you're not going to let me add stop because it's underwater? Really? Huh, that's weird. I didn't think that would cause a problem. Create new line. Let's do it from that way. Yeah, won't let me do it. Darn. All right, well, we'll let the water go past then. And also, we could add another stop for in here when we got that bit built. And I'm just wondering whether to upgrade this road down here and put monorail up there as well for this section. That could work quite well. How are we doing over here? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Healthy weeds. Quick, finish your cookies. Here comes the tsunami. Oh, dear. And what about Central Park? Cent oh, yeah. Central Park. Oh, it may just peter out before it gets to Central Park. Yeah, it looks like it's slowing right down. Central Park will survive. Thank goodness for that. 
Yeah, I'm going to put the monorail up here as well. Let's see if it allows me to upgrade the roads while there's a... Cannot build on water. No, it won't. If I put anarchy on... Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I think of you, water. Let's bring this... Let's see. Yeah, up this up this route here. I think will be better. Let's go along there. Let's stick on the four-lane road. Um, and that actually wasn't a four-lane road, but it is now. And then we can go straight from there to there. And we'll get a proper corner connection. Yes, we will. Excellent. So we've got two places that can come in from. I'm wondering now whether I can do the route now that I've got anarchy on. Uh, let's remove that one. If I go create line there. And go over to here. Yes, I can. There we go. And then back again. Excellent. That is what we want. And then hopefully the auto line mod has automatically done that for me. Monorail 6. It hasn't done the name. Oh, there we go. Number 6, B Flyer. Don't know quite how it's got that name worked out, but that's fine. There we go. And that will definitely help. And then we can have another one from up here go to over there as well. Are these all... Yep, yeah, the water's going. Excellent. So I think, actually, we'll delete that bit there. Can I squeeze one in there? What's this one here? Avenue Monorail Station. I think that one's slightly bigger. So if we go like that, yeah, that's better. Then connect these two together. There we go. Cool. And that fits in there just nicely. So now we can have a route going from there down to here and back again. There it is. And then should we have a route from these two from here to here? Probably not necessarily needed. So we won't do that. Let's just see whether the auto line mod has done that for us. Yes, the B flyer and the S flyer. Okay, I'm happy with those names. I don't know quite how it's got those. Oh, I tell you what, it's got it from Strawberry Fields and Bottle Cap Lane. That's what it's doing. I think you can actually adjust that. If you go into your options and go to auto line color, random hue, naming from the districts, or you can have London or road name. So we'll we'll go with the we'll go with the districts as we've got. That's fine. Yep, that works well for me. And then we should have, hopefully, some monorail. There we go. Excellent. Working up and down there. So that will help people get over to this area, which now needs to be totally all fixed up because of the flipping tsunami. Darn it. Uh, let me just go and check over here. How's all this looking? Yeah. I need to find a mod that's going to auto-rebuild for me because, I'll be honest, going through and clicking rebuild is a pain in the neck. Do you know what? I'm going to have a look now and see if I can find one. I'll be right back. Well, sadly, turns out, unless you know any different, there isn't a mod for auto-rebuilding, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, the auto bulldoze mod um, won't delete any of your buildings, like over here. It won't delete these ones because we do have the let's go into here and here we do have the disaster response unit if you didn't have this built the auto bulldozing mod will automatically delete all of these buildings but we know that they will come around and fix those but unfortunately any of the plopper balls that you put in so for instance we come over here and let's have a look this way so generally speaking these power lines are fine but all the teeny tiny power lines that I put in, I've got to go around and rebuild those. That's a bit of a... Pay or click on rebuild, like over and over again. So if somebody is good at mod making, um, then this would be a great thing to come along and have, is the auto rebuild thing. Because to be honest, it's not a fun part of the game. I like the disasters, but having to go through your city looking for those little blue things... I might as well let these guys go around and do their job first with the helicopters before we start on that. But having to go around and constantly be, be doing those is a little bit... It's not fun. Just clicking on buttons. But there we go. Oh yeah, I was going to come over here and do a bit more rebuilding. But look! We have another, <laughs> another tsunami. Oh dear, oh dear. Coming over to here. Um, Yeah, I'm going to wait for that to pass and... <laughs> go down and then we'll carry on building up this area here okay so one thing we don't actually have turned on um which we could do now is fast recovery it says they won't search for survivors um because i didn't even open all of my things so my people to go into did i, I completely forgot about that but they will just rebuild 
But that won't, as far as I am aware, rebuild all the plopper balls. We're still going to have to do that by hand. So, like, uh, let's come out of that mode. So, like these here. We're still going to have to do that. So, if you know of a mod, let me know. I'm actually talking in the City Skylines. Oh, that needs rebuilding. I haven't got to that yet. I'm actually talking in the City Skylines Discord, asking people there if they know of anything that would do it. And there's a few suggestions, but none of them that actually work on the ploppables. They just work on the buildings like this, where they will search for survivors. And then these buildings will be... If we go over here, some of these are probably done. They're being a bit slow. There we go. These will just go blue like this. So that is now ready for rebuilding. So when there's a need, which we can actually add again. So we can speed this up a bit by adding this up to the top. I had to redo it because I'd restarted my game. Then ones like that will just rebuild again automatically. But we still... I don't mind waiting for the helicopters. It's just its just this. Coming ha around having to click rebuild that I don't want to do. So, I mean, if you're a mod maker and there really isn't a mod that's going to fix that, that that's a bit of a, a gap in the market there to get that sorted. So, yeah, there we go. We didn't send everybody to our shelters. Whoops. Sorry, people. I'll remember next time. Honest. Honest. So, there we go. We can rebuild that. Okay, so the city is more or less back to what it was. I mean, we're still growing here, but that's okay. They will work on that. I can just get these roads sorted now. I know which way they go in and out. So we're going to go like that. Uh, this one here, I actually want the ground to meet. Yeah, is that going to do it when I upgrade? Yeah, that's better. And then we'll go yeah, in this way. And then we'll go out that way. Yep, there we go. That's fine. And that will stop any traffic crossing over on this section here. Because they'll go in this side and come out there. We should see it now. Here they go. Yes, excellent. And the cargo ships are coming in. Perfect. Let us follow this cargo ship here. No, let's not follow him like that. Let's follow him like this. So he's going to be going through our canal area that we set up here. Perfect. Nice and wide. Whoa, he seems to be wanting to go up and over that little bit there. I don't know why, but there we go. We'll, we'll, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. So good. Oh, hang on. We've got a couple more things to rebuild. Let's just grab the firehouse. Uh, let's grab that power thing. There we go. Excellent. So this is all working nicely. These will all get moved back into as soon as these helicopters have gone around. I've added another disaster response because the ones we have over here always get hit by the tsunami. Look, there's one here that hasn't been rebuilt yet. Lots of people complaining about lack of water. Oh, I'll tell you what. Give me a second. Okay, so what else do we have that we can add into here that make this look nice and industrial? Let's take a look at some of the... Some of the things that we have. Let's turn that off. So we've got like this sort of water reclamation sludge processing sort of stuff here. Um, which I think would look quite interesting in here. Next to this sort of 
next to this sort of stuff that we've going on that we've got going on here. So if we put that back to normal, close that up. If we run a road, even though it's not water processing this stuff, if we want run a road up there and then say a road down there like that. And then we take some of these. I want that to fit up against there. So one. Actually, let's put a road up there. Should we connect that all the way across? No, let's keep that one separate. There we go. Then we can add another one in there. Oh, they've actually got a water pipe connection. Okay, well, let's connect those up then. Let's have a look. Where are we connecting to? There we go. We can connect all the way to over there. So what are these actually going to do for us? Uh, activated sludge. You don't mix with air and now just speed up decomposition. Okay. It does something, which is quite good. So we'll add those in. I've no idea what they actually do. I'm sure somebody out there can explain that to me. Then we have the aeration basin, which is actually quite large, isn't it? I wanted that in here as well, but we don't have the space. How about if we deleted, move these around a bit? Actually, we'll leave that like it is. We'll add some industry in there around this section. That will build up nicely. There we go. To fill that in. I don't want anything around there. Uh, and we'll leave those. Yeah, we'll leave those buildings as they are. Yeah, that's good. That'll fill that up. And then maybe the aeration basins can go over this side. So if we add this road coming up straight up there. How wide are they? That is actually, that will just take one, won't it, in there. So let's add one in there like that. We'll add a road up the side. We'll add a road up the side there. Yep. Mm, no. We'll take that road out there. Good, good, good. We'll add this to the water pipe as well. Let's grab our water pipe. We'll turn that on so we can see what we're doing. Excellent. There we go. Just take a look at that. So that's going to be working on some of our excess dirty water as well. And this area is building up quite nicely. Now everybody's coming back again, which is really good. But what we want to make sure we've got is we've got all the forestry stuff in here. We want some area that isn't actually on a forestry area, but is still set to forestry, like down here, to actually work on turning some of these items into goods. So obviously we need something this way. In fact, we're going to take this road here. We're going to have... Let's have it like that. So I'll have that come out to there. And then to there. And then to there. Yep, that's good. We'll have that as part of this area. So let's fill that in. Excellent. And then we have a look at this. This one here. Not all of that is forestry. So we'll get some different buildings in here. Let's make sure we're utilising all of this space. Uh, let's see. We'll have a road there. And we'll have a road there. Yeah, that's good. And then if we fill this in. There we go. We'll get a little bit of everything in there. As that grows up. There we go. So we'll get some like these that are making the wood so they're chopping down the wood the lumber mill that's a playground lumber company and then we should get some hmm maybe that is too near yeah there's still a slight sort of overlap it's this bit down here actually isn't it that we really want the yeah the zone's covering that so let's put some industry on these there we go and hopefully some of these down here will be non-tree chopping, but more tree processing. Let's see. Yeah, that covers all of that down there. So, let, yeah, let's do all of this. There we go. Aha! So, what do we get in here? The lumber company. Yeah, so it seems like they're taking fine furniture. That's the sort of thing we're looking for. And lumber company. Yep, so they're taking... The wood and turning it into other stuff that one doesn't want to close let's just make sure these have got water along here which they probably don't that will do nicely we'll add that one along there as well and in fact we could even utilize this area down here so if we take all of that and take that one in we know for a certain that that isn't 
lumber related, is it? No, that's like oil related or something. But if we put it in with that area, uh, that district, I should say, and fill this up, this will then definitely process, there we go, all of the lumber that we're getting up in our lumber district. Where the lumber resources are. There we go. Ah, that's it. There we go. So we're getting more offices, more buildings. There we go. We've got some in here as well. So let's see what these are. Pellet fuels and forest friends and planks for life. That's it. And then we'll get a few more. Excellent. That's what we want. So we're getting the wood sort of made over here with all these trees. And then we're getting it converted over there. And then we'll get that shipped out. There we go, through here, which is excellent. So that's going to work quite well there. So let's take a look at our budget panel. And see what we are making. So oil we're making, well, 10,000 it was there for a minute. Forestry we're not making too much, but that's going to start going up. Or we don't have any yet. And I bet we're having a death wave at the moment. Let's have a look over here. Uh, maybe not, still regrowing from... Uh, the tsunami. So, you know, we'll let people off a bit, I think. Okay, so things are growing up nicely on our little extra island over here that we've been working on. We've got some nice industry coming up over here as well, which is good. Um, I certainly want to have a look and have a think about putting some sort of monument area, maybe some sort of touristy area or leisure area in the middle here. We've got these lovely little islands here we could do something with. We could even have, in fact, I'm going to mark this out now so I don't forget, we are going to have a park area uh, in here. So that bit there is going to be a nice park. There we go. And it may even come through to down here. We can tidy this up later. We'll just sort of put this in so we don't forget. And sort of spread over here a bit as well. Something along those lines. I think that will work out quite well. There we go. I hate these underground things. They keep getting done by the tsunamis. Darn you tsunamis. There we go. There's another one here. Excellent. What are we up to? 84,000. We are creeping up to 100,000. Which is fantastic. We do need, as you can see, we need to get some more people um, around here. So we're definitely going to start expanding... Mm, more people, I think, in this little section here, then a park as well. And I think that'll do this island nicely. Excellent. Well, if you want to see more City Skylines, hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe. Don't forget to be here tomorrow for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.